from first bite. Ahoy everyone and welcome to Zug the Megasaurus presents the Dinosaur Discovery Kit. Now this was kind of my first ever video game. As you can see it's <laughs> very basic. It's um got four options here on the screen. Uh, coloring book, dinosaur match, story maker, and stop. Which I just, I think it means quit, but we'll just go with stop. I think they just wanted to use the stop sign with the T-Rex in it. So, being my first game, this is, you know, it's obviously just a educational, you know, kitty fun learning game, alright? But it's about dinosaurs, and everyone loves dinosaurs. So this is the titular Zug. He is a Megasaurus. <laughs> if you don't know what a Megasaurus is, well, it's what Zug is. Now, so you have these these three options. Obviously, the coloring book's pretty straightforward. You color uh, pictures of dinosaurs with crayons. Um, the dinosaur match is basically, you know, a match game with cards. And the story maker is... Basically, you, you know, put together your own story, and, yeah, you tell a story about dinosaurs. So, we're just going to jump into this uh, with the coloring book first. Hi there, welcome to the coloring book. You can use the arrow to change the picture. <laughs> Brontosaurus. Water. So basically what Zug will do, he will say various phrases like water, which means you are to colour the water. Now you choose the colours up here. There's three screens of colours, which is pretty, you know, it's pretty advanced for the for the era, the, for the time this was released. Honestly, it'd be very easy just to program four colours and that's it. But I mean, they've given us, you know, all these colours here. So that's pretty cool. So, basically, choose any colour you want for the water. I'm just going to be edgy and go black. Black water. <laughs> Dinosaur in the water. That voice is just so... Like, I, I get these days, it's just... It's the standard computer-generated voice, but back then it was just so cool. Like, it, it like to have the, the game talk to you. So, the dinosaur in the water is this, this one here. So we're going to make him pink. Light purple dinosaur light in the water. Light purple, I guess. <laughs> trees. Uh, I like blue trees. What about you? Blue trees. Volcano. Eh, volcanoes are usually green, aren't they? Light green volcano. Fire. He's just so deadpan. Like, you know, there's no, you know, there's no enthusiasticness about his tone at all. Uh, we'll make it yellow fire. Yellow fire. Lava rocks. Lava rocks. I gotta be green dark lava green. rocks. Dark green. Sky. Mm. You know what? Let's have a red sky. Red sky. Head. Now look how beautiful this picture is. Come on. Uh, let's go. Light blue head. Body. Purple and body. That's it. Teeth. Oh, wait, sorry. Teeth. Um, go what? White teeth. He brushes his teeth. Brontosaurus. Did you know? Did you know? The name Brontosaurus means thunder lizard. The name Brontosaurus means thunder lizard. I told you. So now what you would do... You can either hear the story again, uh, you can print what you've just done, which is which was really cool, trust me. You can stop to go back to the start, or you can uh, continue on. Elasmosaurus. Plants. So basically you got Nessie. Pteranodon. Sky. Birds. Triceratops. Mother's head. Sarah. Stegosaurus. Head. Spike. Tyrannosaurus. This was always my favorite. 
sky for obviously yeah. obvious reasons black sky mountains so yeah it's pretty you know brown mountains it's pretty simple pretty basic plants but it's it's fun nonetheless well it was it, it was fun once upon a time green plants head Obviously now I'm 30 years old. Redhead. So. Teeth. Yellow teeth. Body. Red body. Head. <laughs> Redhead. Redhead. Teeth. Redhead. Redhead. Yellow teeth. Body. Red body. Ground. When I was a kid, I always wondered what this part was, and it's apparently his tail. So, a bit of weird perspective there, but whatever. Black ground. That's cool. Tyrannosaurus. Do, 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 do. Did you know? The Tyrannosaurus was a meat eater. Yeah, that's news to me. Uh, so, I think we're going to stop now. So, you've got the idea of that. One thing I always liked is every time you go back to the main screen, Zug's costume changes. Now, I'd like to quickly point out this game is not available anywhere. Um, it's not available on Steam, GOG, uh, in stores, obviously. Um, honestly, I've never seen it on eBay. Uh, I, this site that I'm playing it on is just so awesome. Uh, for uploading this to allow people to play it. As I said, it's, it's not the world's greatest game, it's not my favourite game ever, but to be able to play it again, it's just, it's really, it, it's really great. It's, you know, my nostalgia is kicking in the overload. So, I'm just going to play Dinosaur Match here. Hi there, welcome to Dinosaur Match. Choose the game you want to play. I want to match. So this is where you choose, you can either choose Dinosaurs, Shadows, or Zug. I always went Zug because he dresses up in funny costumes. I want to match Zug the Megasaurus. I want the cards to be. So you can choose big or little. Obviously if there's uh, big cards, there's less of them. Smaller cards, there's more of them. I want the cards to be big. I want to play. So you can either play alone with a friend or against a computer. I want to play with Zug. I want Zug to be. <laughs> this is funny. So you can choose the difficulty. Now, let's go to this one, just so I can show you this. I want Zug to be silly. <laughs> ah. I want to. But how cool is that? That means go. That means to start. Like, how clever is that? They've they've taken the, the concept of the stop sign and also included the traffic light. I want to go. Painter Zug. Gentleman Zug. Bunny Zug. So basically, yeah. Uh, Match. Painter Zug. Dapper Zug. Oh. Sorry, I messed that up really badly. Match. Gentleman Zug. Gentleman Zug. There. Match. Zug's bunny. It says Zug's bunny, but it's clearly just Zug in a bunny a onesie. <laughs> well, what we now know is a onesie. Match. Farmer Zug. Match. Sheriff Zug. <laughs> Terrific. You won the match game. This is really cool, and I, I still think this is so awesome. So what you do, you type your name. Okay. And look, it gives you, you know, the the Megasaurus Match of Water, Water 2 Scott Man, by Zug the Megasaurus. That, like, this was so cool. Like, seriously. You know, a, a kid gets this, you know, he thinks he's, you know, accomplished something. 
early on in life, and that's really special. And look, it's even got today's date. How cool is that? That's really cool. Any signature and a little ribbon. Add it, so you you could print this. You could play again. Um, let me just try one more time. No, 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 no. Sorry, uh, I'll, I'll play again with the hardest difficulty. Hi there, welcome to Dinosaur Match. Choose the game you want to play. Okay. I want to match. We'll go Zug again because as I said, I like that one. I want to match Zug the Megasaurus. I want the cards to be... Smile. I want the cards to be little. I want to play. I want to play with Zug. I want Zug to be... I want Zag to be very smart. I want to. Now I'm probably going to lose to Zag here, so... I want to go. A pirate! Match. Rainy day, Zag. No. All right, there's a scoob dude. Okay, the sound just cut out, so <laughs> you're just gonna have to listen to my voice for now on. I want, I, I want to at least get the part. Ah, oh. See how he cheats? <laughs> no. Aha. Uh -huh. You going down now, Zug? Uh oh. No! Damn it! Bastard. Oh well. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I get over it. So I, this, for some reason the sound's gone out of it. So let me just try to repair this for a second. No, the sound's gone. One second. Bear with me. Alright, welcome back. Sorry about that. Um, so basically, all I did was uh, reload the page. And it seems to be working adequately now. But, uh, at least for now, anyway. Hi there. Welcome to Story Vector. Choose a story title. So basically, you have three... This is Story Maker. Uh, you have three options to choose from. Uh, Dinosaur Land, Zug's Party, and Stuck. I always went Zug's Party. Zug's Party. One day, Zug decided to have a party at his. So basically the story will tell you what's going on, and you fill in the blanks. So, obviously you can either choose a house, or I think that's a park. At his park. Park. There you go. He invited a brontosaurus with a purple. How happy is Doug? Seriously, this this is just you know, like a, a perfect image of like the nineties. You know, just this happy dinosaur. Like dinosaurs were massive when I was a kid. So, and you know, I was a kid. I was happy. You know, I still am happy. <laughs> But like, you know, it's just this innocent time. Like, look, this is innocence right here. This is the face of innocence. Look at, you know, he's got this, you know, one snaggle tooth here, a small tooth here. Like, he's a happy, he's a happy Megasaurus. Look at his boots. Looks like Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Alright, so he invited a Brontosaurus with a purple... Let's give him a shirt. Shirt. Now, is this how a Brontosaurus would wear a shirt, or would he wear a shirt like this, or like this? 
He invited a triceratops with a yellow pizza polka dot scarf. Damn it. <laughs> Zag gave each one a party. You gotta give everyone a party balloon. Balloon. He prepared the table with pizza. Pizza and salad. Ugh. Get rid of the salad. What's this one? Like, seriously, he's going to give everyone leaves? Look, it's good to have a vegetarian option, but come on, it's literally a leaf off a tree. That cake looks pretty cool, too. Oh, no. A surprise guest arrived. You get to choose who it is. It was a Tyrannosaurus with scary... Teeth. Teeth. And you gotta give him something to make him happy. To get him to smile, Zug had to give him the biggest. Look at this. It's Zug's birthday, and he's gotta give a present to the T-Rex. Who does that? Call the cops. Call the, call the you know, Flintstone police. Balloon. So we can hear the story again. Oh, sorry, you can print, see story, or read story. So we can see it. Let's see it. Let's hear One it. One day, Zug decided to have a party at his park. He invited a brontosaurus with a purple shirt. He invited a triceratops with a yellow polka dot scarf. Zug gave each one a party balloon. He prepared the table with pizza and salad. Oh, no. A surprise guest arrived. It was a Tyrannosaurus with scary teeth. To get him to smile, Zag had to give him the biggest balloon. One day, Zag decided to have a party at his park. He invited a Brontosaurus with a purple shirt. So basically you get... He invited a Triceratops with a yellow polka dot scarf. You get a few options. Zag gave each one a party balloon. Sea story or read story. He prepared the table with pizza and salad. Just pizza, just pizza. Oh, no. <laughs> I love that owner. A surprise <laughs> guest arrived. Who is it? It was a Tyrannosaurus with scary teeth. To get him to smile, Zag had to give him the biggest balloon. So, yeah, that's that. Um, Hi there. Welcome to Story Maker. Choose a story title. So I'm just going to quickly go through the other two. Dinosaur Land. Such a beautiful Once land. upon a time, a long time ago, there was a land of... So you can choose mountains, trees, or ponds. I'm going to go... Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a Twin Peaks fan. Let's go. Let's go trees. Trees. I usually go mountains, I think. In that ancient place, there lived a... Can you guess what I always chose? Uh, hmm? Tyrannosaurus. It's a bit pale there. His body was very... Green. Big and green. Big. <laughs> His color was... Purple was my favorite color when I was a kid. Purple. Purple. If you asked him how many friends he had, he would say... Well, in real life, I have only two friends, so... Two. <laughs> and they don't, <laughs> that's exactly how they dress, too. They wear uh, fancy hats and capes with a single button. Or is that a bolt? Oh, the sound's gone again. Can I fix it? No, I can't. Uh, they live together by a big... Sorry, I'll do my best to be Zug. They live together by a big... Rock. <laughs> and slept quietly under the... Sun. <laughs> We're just going to do the last one here. Uh, oh, it's wet. It's back.
Hello? It's gone again. <laughs> Once upon a time, a brontosaurus was stuck in a big... I believe that's swamp and that's mud puddle. I think. Mud hole. That's close. Looks like blood, doesn't it? Look. Look, brown. Come on, seriously. Brown? Red. You can't tell me that that's not blood. He looked up and saw a... Pteranodon. In the distance he could see two... Allos... Allosaurs. Are they eating the... The... Pteranodon? They were coming his way. He pushed and pulled until he was safely behind a big uh, pizza tree. Oh, just a tree. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> they will never find me here. Help me. The other dinosaurs couldn't find him. They were so angry, they turned. <laughs> well, when you're angry, you always turn blue. The Brontosaurus was so tired, he took a nap. Ah. And that's it. That's, uh, that's the stories. So we can... I think the... We'll go back here. So yeah, I'm just going to try to kick the... No, uh, the sound's definitely not coming back. Oh well. I want to match nothing. So that was the Dinosaur Discovery Kit. Um, as I, There's not much to it. Look, I just beat... I just completed the whole game in like, what, 20 minutes? But look, it, it was really fun when I was a kid. Uh... It just, it still looks good to me. Maybe, maybe that's just my nostalgia, but it, it's colourful. Um, it's about dinosaurs. Like, I mean, if it was about, I don't know, uh, furniture or something, maybe, I, you know, I probably wouldn't be as interested as I am. But look, it's dinosaurs. Everyone likes dinosaurs. And I don't, I don't know. There's just, there's just something. I, play, I played a lot of educational games in, in my life, and just this one always stood out for some reason, I don't know why, I, I guess it, you were learning, um, but it was fun, like, I mean, like, Zug's, you know, he's, you know, very, you know, cool looking character, like, the match game, he wears silly costumes, um, the story make is funny, the colouring book is, you know, you can colour whatever colour you want, it was just a... I don't know, it was fun. So, this one's free online. Um, classic Reload. Or Re-Upload, Reload, Re-Upload. Um, they've done a really good service here. Like, whether no one else agrees, I, I'm just telling, I'm just saying so. They've done a really good service. By allowing anyone like me to access this game once more because this was the first game I ever played as I, as I mentioned in the beginning this was uh, given given to my mother by one of her friends uh, for me specifically uh, and it was never it was never called the dinosaur that the dinosaur discovery kit it was always Zug. So when I got old, it was hard to find because I'm looking for Zug, Zug this, Zug that, and then, you know, to learn it was the Dinosaur Discovery. Like, obviously, like the title screen tells you exactly what it is, the Dinosaur Discovery Kit, but when you're a kid, do you really care about the title screen? Like, all I know was, oh, that's Zug, that's Zug the Megasaurus, 
and I, re I, I remembered that all through my life, Zug the Megasaurus. I f forgot, or just, you know, didn't care about the Dinosaur Discovery Kit part, but always knew about Zug. So yeah, this was, this was fun to revisit. And if I ever have kids, maybe I'll introduce them to Zug here. So, yeah, just a fun little game. Look at, look at the drawings, like it's all uneven and stuff at the feet, look, they're all pixelated and stuff. But yeah, now it's a good game. Well, I think that's about it, so until next time.